Good evening everybody, my name is Jeremy C. This is a Construct2 tutorial for Sierra.com. Um, you can find me on the forums under the How Do I Do This. I like to help people out and there's others that will help you out also. Um, please submit um, a snapshot of your code or a CapEx file in order for us to see what you've done in order to receive help. Um, it's the best way to receive help and 90% of us uh, will not help you unless you provide something that shows that you at least tried to do it on your own. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to insert a sprite into your game. As you can see, this is the free version. Um, simply just drag and drop and voila, you got your sprite is already in your game. Double click it, you'll see that you got your animation. It comes up. Um, here is our image point. So that what we want to do now is we want to duplicate our image. Okay, as you can see, it starts at zero, and I went all the way to five because there are six cars in the list. Next, what I want to do is I want to go back to one, and I just want to put my image point right there, and that's fine. And then all I'm going to do is quickly go over it like that and go crop. There's one. Crop. Two. Three. Four. Five and last but not least here six. Okay, as you can see, I have all six cars in there now, and we'll go back to our first one. We'll set our image point. I go right click, click assign middle, then go right click, apply to whole animation. <coughs> okay. So now our image point is there. Now what we want to do is we're going to go shift and then crop. And as you can see, we just cropped all our images all at the same time. We also want to shift them to the all facing to the right. So shift and flip or rotate. Now they're all facing to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, what's nice is if you need to um, get this even tighter on your cars, what you can do is go in here with your tool and you can crop it down as real tight as you want you go crop don't worry about uh, going outside of the uh, um, image area uh, what's nice is it has that uh, um, snap to grid effect so that you can get really really close if you need to come from the bottom you can come far out and then go in and go crop and again from the top and go crop and then once you've got it cropped like that you can hit crop again and as you can see it equalized the space around the image I really really like that um, ability uh, in here we we'll just crop this guy down go crop and then hit crop again okay this guy here he's a little too big oh, I don't want to do that Yep, again I missed. I way too much fun sometimes trying to crop things. I'm gonna say that's pretty close. Crop. Crop. <coughs> crop again. The nicer your crops, the better your collisions will be in your game. So if you have to, you can always uh, use your mouse wheel with the control and you can zoom really nice into it. So if you want to get even closer on your crops, you can. 
drop. And like I said, this snap to grid is really nice because you can go really wide and fix just the areas that you're trying to crop. Crop and then crop again, and it gives a nice little space evenly around your item. And again, like I said, nice, really nice, nice, nice. Crop and then off the back side of the car, just right here. Crop and then hit crop again. Okay. And that's how uh, uh, you can do it that way. Um, if you have a sprite sheet and you want to insert a sprite, you would go insert new object, sprite sheet, or pick a sprite, put your sprite on your piece, go over here, import files from sprite sheet or file, select your uh, image. As this uh, has six cars, it's six horizontal cells. It does not have any vertical cells except for the original one. So you leave that like that and hit import. As you can see, it did not fill in the original. So you would have to delete the first one out. Now we have all six. Then again, it's shift and crop. As you can see, it cropped all of them. And then shift and rotate. As I said, all items should be facing right in order for uh, um, your animations to work right. Okay, also uh, make sure to set your image points. Origin, click assign, middle, and right click, apply the whole animation. Okay. Now we have two cars in here, and we're just going to add behavior to one. So we're going to add the car behavior. Add, close. And you can add a, a behavior to this one, add solid, like so. If you would like to change your animation frame for any of your vehicles, down here towards the bottom it says initial frame, then you would just change it to whatever you want. So there's two, three, four, five which is actually six okay and then if we hit play now we'll bring up our browser window you can see it ran through all the animations versus um, just staying with the original um, you have to set your animation speed when setting your animations so in here if you look to the side this says animation speed at five you would set it to zero and close that one out over here double click this one animation speed and two zero close now if we hit play again you see that stays on the yellow car and the red car stayed on due to that was the last frame also we selected it not to rotate and we also selected that specific frame for that car and now as you can see it already has car behavior so if I press up and then do right or left you can see he's moving as you can see he did collide with the other car but you notice that the collisions there's a gap between us okay the gap is due to not setting our collision points our collision points are currently way out here one two three four so if I wanted him to actually smash into the car we would set our collision points to the car itself If all of your animations are the same size, uh, you could apply to whole animation instead of having to go in and individually do each one. By doing the same thing as before, you would select uh, um, your uh, image and then go apply to whole animation. Uh, where it says apply to whole animation by right clicking like that. Now if we check our cars. You'll see that the collision marks are the exact same as the original car. And that doesn't work for every car or every animation that you have going on. Okay? 
So that's how you would do that. And as for this guy, you have to set his enemy, his collision field so that he bumps into him just right. And delete that image point. Okay. If you need to get really, really tight in there, just uh, control and use your mouse wheel and you can zoom in. So if you really want to uh, get it to where he's really bumping him like a bumper car, you could do that. Also, if you need to add an image point, you would uh, um, click the one prior to where you want to add one. And it would set it to be the next one in line. Okay, so that looks good. Let's bring this guy out just a hair here. And add a point on the back back here. Like so. And close. And hit play. Now when we hit each other, uh, that car is going to be right up on the car itself. Oh. As you can see. He's, he's definitely bumping paint. Uh, okay. So if you got to have an even better collision, like I said, it all comes down to your collision points. Uh, also, uh, wherever you set your image point is where he's going to rotate. So if you need it to look like he's a drift car, you would set your image point further to the front. Image point, put it between like the wheels, close, hit play. You'll notice that the, the back end of the car swings wider. But also if he was going the opposite direction, he's also turning a lot sharper. Okay, so it depends on what you're trying to do with your animations as to where you'll set your image points. Okay, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to add stuff. And as you can see, we just added the car behavior. And we have a car that's driving around. Okay, so enjoy. Till next time.